every year, twice a year, the remote company that I work for puts on a team retreat, which is a chance for everybody in the company to fly to one place, gather together in person, and spend a week bonding, hanging out with each other, planning for the future, dreaming, getting excited about our future plans. It's a really important week for us as a remote company because so much of success as a remote company relies on the relationships that you have with your teammates and these are weeks where those relationships are really formed and strengthened where we can all get on the same page and feel super excited about the work we're doing together. Now obviously because we are in a global pandemic at the moment our team retreat this week is having to go virtual. This is the first time we've done this and I wanted to vlog it so I can show you how our company is adapting our wonderful in-person retreat experience to capturing as much of that as we possibly can in a virtual setting. Now obviously it's not going to be the same. First of all because it's hard to capture an in-person experience virtually as we've all felt uh, during the various lockdowns that we've been in throughout the world this year. But there's also been a lot of changes that they've made to adapt the retreat schedule to a virtual setting. We're not just trying to do the same thing, but virtual, if that makes sense. At our in-person retreats, we stay together in these big houses or cabins. Um, and we spend like breakfast, lunch, dinner together, in sessions, hanging out, doing activities all day, basically. And uh, in a virtual setting, that'd be really exhausting <laughs> to be on Zoom calls all day. So the first like major difference and what I really appreciate is the fact that our operations team has set up this schedule so that it will end up with us being energized by the retreat instead of drained by it. I hope, at least. <laughs> Normally these retreats are a week long. We arrive all flying to the same place on Sunday and then leave on a Friday, but this one is just three days in the virtual setting. Right now it's Monday and because I'm based in Europe, my first session for the day doesn't actually start until like 1.30, I think, my time. And so I've had the morning off, which has also been nice. They told us that we're not expected to do our regular jobs as well as our retreat stuff this week, which is how it goes in a regular retreat setting anyway. So that's nice that they've kept that. So I've had a very chill start to my day and my first session actually is gonna be a really fun activity. So during a regular retreat, we normally have two main like activity times per week where you pick from like one of a couple of options of things to do. On the last one, for example, we went kayaking in the Pacific. That was really fun. For this one, we got to pick from some like online live classes that we're going to take together and one that I'm doing today is hand lettering which is going to be very fun. It's going to be me and three of my workmates in it so it's going to be a very small class because we've chosen like the earlier activity option. That's another thing that they're doing for time zones because we are spread out all over the world. I probably should have said that at the start. Most of the company is based in the US. I'm in Europe. We've got someone in New Zealand, Australia, Thailand and so there's just like you know a very wide range of time zones to consider when setting things up and so they've done a good job of being aware of that. We're all gonna have to make a few sacrifices this week uh, in terms of our regular schedule, but uh, not too much, which is good. Anyway, just wanted to set that up for you, tell you a little bit about how we're achieving this. Our retreats are honestly some of my favorite weeks of the year. So I'm very sad to not be together in person with everyone this week, but I know our operations team has done a good job of trying to capture as much of the experience as they can. So let's get into it and do some hand lettering. <laughs> fun. We had just a small group of us doing a hand lettering class. This was my finished product. Boo, boo, boo. Cheating slightly to use the iPad because Procreate has um, like a feature that kind of neatens up your stroke a little bit but I didn't have it set to overly a lot so you know this was still me drawing this which I'm really proud of. This is a style that I've never managed to do nicely before so that was really fun and um, she was a really good teacher. We hung out for a little bit afterwards, like after the class ended, I dropped another Zoom link. Us three hung out on the call, did some more drawing and chatting, you know. Um, now I have an hour before our next session. There's only three sessions per day, um, like three Zoom calls a day. They're only like an hour and a half per call, so it's not too bad and we're not going to be too overloaded with Zoom calls, but I will be hungry if I do not eat because it's three o'clock. So I'm going to go get some lunch. We are about to have our first all team meeting for the day. Normally this session uh, will happen on Sunday night at our retreat and sort of like kick the whole thing off. 
but obviously because we're doing it virtually for me it's happening in my afternoon for others it might be the first thing in their morning i don't actually know what we're going to be talking about but i do know that at the start of it we're going to be opening gifts that got sent to us um, this is another way that they're bringing in the, some of the in-person experience virtually is sending us a gift for us to all open together on the call which will be fun Yesterday we had an all team session where we did an activity breaking into groups which is something we often do in person at a retreat like we'll break into groups and everyone will go to like a separate part of the houses to like have a discussion brainstorm something and for this one we were brainstorming how we would pitch ConvertKit like a five minute pitch in the year 2023 so it sort of involved um, thinking ahead to what features we're going to have available then and how we want to be describing ourselves you know three years into the future um, and also some refining of how we talk about our product to people who don't know it yet so yeah it was a really great activity super fun and we got put in random groups which is always good to like spend time with people who you perhaps don't work with on a daily basis you know um, and we use zoom's breakout room feature for that then I had a one-on-one -on -one with my workmate Issa, which is really nice. One of our favorite parts of the retreat is like just the individual conversations that happen when you're like, I don't know, getting lunch together, getting a coffee, going for a walk, I don't know. And so, yeah, we put a one-on-one -on -one in our calendar and just sat and had a chat and dreaming big and, you know, talking about stuff, which was really cool. And then the last session of the day was individual team sessions. So for me, that was a marketing team session. And we did sort of like a get to know you thing because we've had someone new join the team since the past retreat. Um, and we talked about what we would do if we were independently wealthy. How would we spend our time? And it was a fun like, exercise to see what people dream about, you know, and uh, what's important to them. And I like that we spend the time on that sort of thing, you know, because like I said at the start, the relationships with the people on your team are vital for success in a remote company. So that was really good. So that was just a quick catch up on yesterday. Today, first session of the day is another activity again. For me, I'm going to be doing an online yoga class, but it's like a live one. So I, it's gonna be weird, I guess, like watching a yoga video, but the instructor is gonna be doing it in real time um, with a couple of people who were also in the hand lettering one yesterday. So I am going to go put some workout clothes on, I guess, and get ready for that. <laughs> that was such a lovely yoga class, it's really cool. Sometimes, honestly, I forgot that um, she was teaching us live and then she would say something like, just straighten your leg a little bit more. And I was like, oh yeah, she can see me. But yeah, that was a nice way to start off the day because often on our real retreats, we'll have like arranged activities in the morning for like different exercise sessions if we want to join in. Like um, we've got a couple of workmates who are actually yoga teachers and they will run a class or something like that. So yeah, that was really nice. Something I didn't mention yesterday, is that we got given a $150 budget to buy ourselves meals throughout the retreat so we can like order in food and not have to like worry about cooking it and things like that which has been really nice so um, we ordered the poke bowl yesterday like you saw I had a chicken wrap for lunch today it was really good next session that I'm going into is unsolicited feedback if you've watched past retreat vlogs you will have heard me talk about this before but this is a thing that we do normally you're in person you're like just sort of sitting around in a living room or something like that and it's called unsolicited feedback because we take it in turns for like one person to be quiet and everyone else in the room sort of talks about them as if they weren't there saying what they hope for them what they are like you know have really admired about them recently but talking about them not to them if that makes sense i don't know it sounds weird to explain but it's really it's a great activity you feel you end up feeling really like seen by your workmates and you also get a lot of really good candid feedback of stuff you need to work on as well. Um, I know for sure it's helped me to progress in my career having these sessions. So I'm not quite sure how it's gonna work having it online um, instead of in person. Like, I don't know, just for unsolicited feedback, the personal care side of things has to be there and you have to know that everything you say is like coming from a place of love and support for each other. And it's harder to like feel those vibes <laughs> virtually you know but i'm sure everyone will do great and it might take a while for us to warm up to it but we'll get into it 
Anyway, I'm um, gonna do that, but before I do, there's like 10 minutes before that session. They've set up one Zoom link as like the kitchen, <laughs> which is where like you'll often run into people in the houses on a real retreat to grab a drink, grab a snack or something like that. And so it's this open Zoom room where people will be hanging out randomly and you can just pop in and see who's there and have a chat. So I'm gonna go do that. more about these innovative, life-changing products from today's startups. The first startups to present are the entrepreneurs from Startup One, Dog Do. Everyone has, but specifically dog lovers, obviously have this problem as well, is uh, cutting their hair during the pandemic. I can't remember where I left off <laughs> filming yesterday or what I even talked about and like told you what was going on. You're probably very confused. I spread out unsolicited feedback session. I did explain what that was, I'm pretty sure. That went on for almost double the time <laughs> that it was supposed to. We always take a long time with that. Um, we just have a lot to say to each other, you know, and there is nine of us on the team. So, you know, that was a lot of people to go through, but that was really good. Um, that was one part of a virtual retreat I was kind of worried about because to give that kind of feedback to people It feels nicer to, to be able to do that in person and then you can like all hang out afterwards and like nights after unsolicited feedback Everyone always sort of has this like <sighs> Like a sigh of relief uh, Sort of thing and you all just feel much more connected, but it did go really well doing it over zoom instead It was just a shame that we couldn't all then like, you know hang out afterwards but what we did do uh, was this group activity called patent pending or patent pending as i've learned americans pronounce it we're all on a zoom call got put into random breakout groups and given keywords that we had to develop an infomercial type product for you know so something dumb but like kind of useful but you don't really need it you know my group was making something for bakers to solve their problem of having wet feet so that's <laughs> gives you an idea of the like level of weirdness that was going on uh, in some of those clips you're probably not understanding but that's because like people had weird <laughs> phrases they were, they were having to work with uh, but it was really fun it was really fun to do it all together had a laugh and afterwards got on a zoom call and just sort of like chatted about a little before I got off and had dinner all the others because there's two times for activities I think I explained that at the start um, a lot of people did some whiskey tasting last night, which looks super fun. I have a little bit of FOMO about that, but also I didn't want to stay up till 11.30 doing it. Tonight I am going to stay up late though, because it's our last like team activity for the week. It's a trivia night, it's at 10 o'clock my time, but um, I want to be there. I'm going to make that happen. It's really fun though waking up for the day and like seeing, you know, Slack messages from people of what they were doing in the whiskey tasting, screenshots and things like that, because we have a retreat channel in slack which is where we're like putting all of our random thoughts <laughs> this week right now it's about 10 o'clock for me and i'm going to go and do my 5k run so this is something i talked about in a previous vlog we're running a virtual 5k together this week um so it's like at any time you go out and do your run you track it in strava and like name it ck 5k run and um it gets counted and there's like prizes for the fastest as well as like best outfit and scenery and all that I'm not particularly going for any of the prizes because I don't want to wear something dumb out in public. <laughs> uh, and I'm just going to run on the riverbed here in Valencia. But hey, there's already been some people doing it and uh, Grant, our director of engineering, has a time of running 5k in 19 minutes and 38 seconds. I would just... what? Well, yeah. <laughs> My time's probably going to be about double that. We'll see. Uh, I'm going to get ready and go on that now. <laughs> Oh my gosh so i ran the full five kilometers without stopping which is a huge achievement for me i've not run that far for oh geez i don't know like maybe since 2013 something like that so i'm really proud of myself for doing that and also i managed to do it much faster than any of my training like run slash walks um just did it in 33 minutes so definitely not as fast as grant but very pleased with that <laughs> Okay, so I don't think I updated much today at all, but um, how do I catch up? Okay, we had an all team session where we sort of got presented the mission, vision, values. This is a session we usually have at retreats. 
um, that Nathan, our CEO, presents, and that was talking about like the future of the company. We did some Zoom breakout rooms to discuss that. It was really good. Um, then on the marketing team meeting, we were talking about like marketing. We've loved seeing other companies do, just like inspiring stuff and having a general conversation about where things are going for us. So it's been a day of that sort of forward thinking. Had a couple of good like random chats in that uh, Slack room that just like anyone can join at any time that I talked about the other day. And now I have myself a bourbon and I'm gonna join the team for a trivia night, which is gonna be fun. It's like 10 o'clock here. So normally I'm going to bed right about now, but this is gonna be good and it's gonna be worth it for sure. Basically, Caitlin has set up uh, different Slack channels for each group so we can like discuss our answers in there. But we're all together on a Zoom call and uh, it's going pretty well. I'm mostly saying that because my team is coming in the lead so far. <laughs> I was up until midnight the night of the trivia, which is why I did not end this vlog on the actual day itself, but I'm pleased to report my team won the quiz with the bonus round. Yes, thank you. We all have little trophy emojis in our Slack statuses now, just to like remind everyone that we won, you know? <laughs> all in all, it was a really good virtual retreat. I was surprised at how much of the in-person atmosphere they managed to capture, you know, with the things that have been organized. It definitely felt like a, a break from the regular work to like take you out of that, to have you thinking about bigger things, thinking about making connections and all of that, which is the point of the retreat. And so, yeah, for that, it served its purpose. It's really interesting because after a real in-person retreat, the day after you like feel really sad and you miss everyone. And myself and a few other people said that they were feeling that about the virtual retreat as well, which makes no sense because we weren't like together in the first place. And you know, we could talk to people the same way we were talking to them during the retreat anytime. But yeah, I think that just shows how much of that atmosphere that um, the ops team managed to put in place. So that's really cool. I'm glad they managed to do that because we're supposed to have our next retreat in like February. And I don't think the world is gonna be in a place where we can do that in person. So I'm betting it's gonna be another virtual one. Not sure yet though. Thanks for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed seeing what it's like for a company to run a virtual retreat. I thought this was a particularly good one. And so yeah, I hope you enjoyed seeing it and that maybe if you work for a company and you're trying to do something similar, this might have given you some ideas. Give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it, help it out on that YouTube algorithm, and I will see you in my next video.